الاحترام سرايا المراقبين استهداف شبابه Two thousand twenty became a year of practicality and comfort, and for some people, the year they tried out new hairstyles. So a lot of people aren't blow drying their hair, aren't flat ironing their hair, aren't curling their hair. You know, the men aren't using their product. They're trying to do lower maintenance styles where they're just able to let it air dry and it still look good. New times dictate new rules, and many decided to experiment with their style. A lot of my clients are working. From home, they're working remote, so I mean, you can't really see really what someone looks like that much over video. So yes, a lot of women, they're still keeping up with their haircuts, but not as much color. Another new trend: less is more. Many women are choosing shorter, more daring styles. Interestingly, after the 1918 flu pandemic, the trend was also shorter hair. Now the women are coming in and they're like chop it completely off uh, for multiple reasons. I don't know when I'll be able to come back in. I have time to grow it out if I don't like it because I'm not seeing anybody, and I'm ready for something new because of this pandemic. Natural hair is the new go-to style as well. Women embrace the hair they have, not trying to curl their straight hair or straighten their curls. A lot of people have really embraced natural hair, and、um, people that maybe had naturally curly hair that always wanted to come in and have you straighten it, and you know they hated their curls, they never knew what to do with them, and now I can I really see a trend, and that's been a while of just really embracing natural hair, textured hair, curly hair. Fashion stylist and actress Gina Rivera notes she hasn't seen such drastic changes in people's fashion habits in her career. I found the most change in men. Actually,、um, you know, they're just like I call it COVID hairy. I can't tell you. I think every man in my life that I know grew their hair out. <laughs> You know, they they went from you know going to the salon every two three weeks and you know keeping it perfectly cut to、um, letting it grow. Many Americans, not wanting to expose themselves and others to any additional risk, prefer to cut their hair at home, and hair trimmers remain up there in the list of Christmas gift ideas. Maxim Moskalkov for VOA News, Washington.